into the center. So there's no it's just a sense. Everyone can see that there's something fishy there. Everyone is quite obvious. Mm. Well, I didn't see it. I mean, I just I, that, that's. I'd be interested to know what what is what is fishy about it. Then I'll ask you that question. Why did it happen? How what the, in terms of how can the most protected building in the world? Mm, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Save it because I'd like to hear you say it on camera. When we talk about witnesses, it's Barry Jennings. Yeah, yeah, Barry Jennings. Yeah, talking about witnesses. Okay, yeah, yeah. Have you have you brought up your union? Just asking about the Pentagon meals. Um, the, the facts seem fairly clear. What happened there? The official account does seem to check out with all the facts that are there. Really, I disagree. And why do you, why do you think this it doesn't I doesn't have, why I do you think the official account doesn't seem to hold true at the Pentagon? Well, I have I've said this already. I find it unbelievable that a pilot which was not allowed to rent a Cessna could fly a, a Boeing 757 and make a 270 degrees turn and a dive at the same time and slam it into the building. It's an impossible maneuver. I don't believe that it should be possible for an airliner to attack the most protected and, and best defended building in the world. And uh, so if the government wants me to believe that, I suggest that they release the more than 80 videos, as I understand, video cameras actually monitoring this building. They, they just relieve the footage of the Boeing, and that's it. And until then, I'm just waiting for the hard evidence. So where did the airline go? I have, I don't know. American 77 disappeared, or? Uh, well, please. I'm referring to hard evidence. I'm not doing any speculations. I'm just waiting for the hard evidence. But there were there were passengers on it. There was an American Airlines 77. There were, did have passengers on it. Had pilots on it. Where did it where where did it possibly go if it didn't crash into the into the Pentagon? I'm a physicist and chemist. I specialize in the collapse of the World Trade Center. And all these discussion about the airliners and the passengers and there's plenty to talk about. I suggest that you take in other specialists who know more about that. We can. We can go on for hours discussing this, and the and the problem here is that you there are conflicting evidence out there, okay, and most of it is conflicting with the official story. That's not what I've found, but well, that's, that's your that's your opinion. It is definitely, but until further, I think that it is unbelievable that an airliner should be allowed to fly around for one and a half hour and then slam into down around Ron on office building. I don't believe that this is, was just an accident. I spoke to an air traffic controller um, and he explained why they failed, and they did fail, it was a failure to, mm -hmm. to, to launch aircraft to intercept. Okay. And the explanation is fairly clear that there was a lack of communication. <laughs> and There's been reading books about it. Please. Yeah. But you don't but you just don't accept that you you know the explanation but it doesn't mean anything to you. I don't believe that the American people is paying billions of billions of dollars to the most effective air force in the world and they should fail on such a simple occasion like this. And you, you, you've sort of questioned whether there were indeed 19 hijackers 
Um, only a few months ago, we heard news that Osama bin Laden had been killed. Do you believe that he, he was killed by US Navy SEALs then? I believe that Osama bin Laden died more than nine years ago. Probably on December the 12th or 13th, 2001. Way back then. And, and what happened to him after that? He died. <laughs> what, but what did... What, what did, why were the, Ameri what were the Americans hunting for after that? They had a big operation to try and hunt for him. The CIA, the FBI involved in a, in a, in a large hunt for, for Osama bin Laden. What were they doing? Were they just doing that for a, for a joke? You should, why don't they ask them? I did ask them. Oh, please. Uh, and they, right. said they, they said they were insulted by the suggestion that they would not be doing, they were not working to try and find Osama bin Laden. Well, I, I, they say it was I, absurd. I apologize if I have in, if I have insulted anyone, anybody. I'm talking about hard evidence from start to end. They said they had hard evidence when they, when they, when they were there. They had DNA. Um, they had, they physically ID'd the person, and the, his wife at the time shouted out his name. Why don't they show us? And if they showed it, would you be convinced? Yes. Or would you then say we want a court of law and something else? Of course, it should be. The court, of, of course, he should be convicted. He has never been charged. And somebody called the the FBI way back. A reporter called um, Ed Hart, and he asked the FBI, "Now, why, why, why don't you? Why is Osama bin Laden not wanted for nine of them?" And uh, the spokesman uh, called Rex Tom answered quite bluntly because FBI does not have any hard evidence connecting Osama bin Laden with the terror attacks on 9 11, and that's it. This is FBI admitting they did, do not have any hard evidence for this, and we haven't seen any hard evidence either. You don't I think haven't. you don't think Al Qaeda was involved in 9 11 at all? When we're going into the political realm now. I think it's I, not the political arena. I think it's sort of it's 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 the official account of what happened. Official no. account of what happened absolutely essentially says that uh, Al Qaeda was responsible for 9/11. Of course not. Yeah, of course. I I have not seen any evidence that the 19 hijackers. Actually, I know an Iceland Iceland a, a, a person from Iceland who has put out a reward of ten thousand pounds sterling to anyone who can produce hard evidence for that the 19 hijackers actually boarded these planes and his money is still in the bank. So if you can present hard evidence that the 19 hijackers went on board these planes, you can earn £10,000 sterling like that. I suppose it depends what you call it evidence. So there's, there's video evidence. There's, no. There's there is video evidence. No. There's there's evidence with where the, their names are on the list. There's, it's there's names where, but it depends what you, you see. You don't accept certain things it's that you, other people would call evidence. Um, and then there's 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 the there's evidence of the things that have been collected from 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 the World Trade Center on the ground, which <laughs> and, you, and you and you don't accept that again, do you? His passport. I, <laughs> do you accept that? They are finding the passport beneath the towers before the collapse. So you think that the hijacker flying at 960 miles per hour tells his co-pilot a few seconds before impact, I just have to pull out my passport. It is rolling down the window, throwing out the passport, and it is accidentally just found on the sidewalks. Is that the story you accept? So the passport was planted. I, I, you, I asked, I asked you, is this a story you're saying, or do you think that the passport survived the blast of the jet fuel and flew out through the flames and landed on the sidewalks? This is what you believe? <laughs> are you serious? Yes. You are? Okay. I think, well, that's, that's the official account. Is that not the official account? Well, if you accept the official account there, I, I, we disagree. I beg to differ. But that, so the point is, is 
if, if, if evidence is presented to you, and I guess this guy in Iceland, it, 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 you, you decide whether it, you think it's evidence or not. Of course. It? It's like, a, you know, I might go and speak to a witness. You haven't spoken to this any witnesses from... You, I don't think you've actually spoken to any witnesses who were there at, at, the, at say, the Pentagon. But you, if, if I go and speak to someone, you say, well, they're, they're, not, they're, not, a, they're not a witness that I accept. We are so talking about you, you have a different approach to what is, a, what is evidence, and you dismiss anything that I suggest to you. Um, you it seems a strange way of <laughs> You operating. suggest that the passport found from one of the hijackers besides World Trade Center belonged to a hijacker who had just flown an airliner at 960 kilometers per hour into a high-rise and he rode down the building and took out the passport and threw it out. This is what you accept. No, I don't accept that. No. You just said that. No, I, accept, I, I accept it was it was found afterwards, and it would have been. It's quite possible that it was ejected from the plane. Why? Why not? Why not? Because I just outlined the scenario that <laughs> I, you would flunk any exam, my friend, at uh, even elementary school in physics and chemistry. This is completely beyond imagination. And um, you didn't quite answer the question I was asking in terms of Al-Qaeda. You, you don't think that Al-Qaeda was involved in any way in 9-11? I'm expecting question. for evidence, please. We must have an investigation. So at the moment, evidence. do you think there's any evidence that Al-Qaeda was involved no. in 9-11? No. And all evidence is against it. Against what, sorry? The, uh, against the 19 hijackers. I'm not talking about Al-Qaeda. I'm talking about the 19 young men who, according to the official conspiracy theory, this was a con conspiracy. Okay, 19 people. Conspiracy, yeah. Conspiracy. Yeah. It was a conspiracy, okay, when 19 people agrees of making a crime, it's a conspiracy thing. And it's a theory. The only occasion, actually, where some evidence was presented, according to NATO, was at a meeting on October the 2nd in Brussels. The story of how NATO got into this war starts on, on September the 12th, less than 24 hours after the impact, at a meeting in Brussels, where uh, the, the North Atlantic Assembly met and uh, agreed upon a statement saying that provided if the attack was directed from abroad. They considered it as an attack on the whole alliance area and they can, the, an Article 5 of the NATO Treaty was activated. Now this, which obviously they had somebody in... Um, they had a suspect, but there were no proofs yet. This was officially provided by Frank Taylor, who was the title of ambassador an American employee from the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs, who came to Brussels on October the 2nd and presented the evidence that this attack was directed from a board which should have been Afghanistan by Osama bin Laden. The meeting was closed. And the, and the, the minutes from the, the report from the meeting uh, has never been published. It is, it is classified. On October the 4th, Lord Robertson, at that time Secretary General of NATO, came forward and said uh, that we have seen the evidence and we accept that the attack was directed from abroad and now we consider Article 5 of the NATO Treaty to be in operation. Uh, from, and from that moment on, my country was at war with Afghanistan. But we have, we, the public and the soldiers who are fighting for their lives have not seen the evidence yet presented by Frank Taylor. And what I suggest is that they show us the evidence. We haven't seen it yet. And that is the story how my country got into Afghanistan. And this is the only political statement I'm ready to put forward here. Denmark has the highest number of casualties in Afghanistan relative to our population. Okay, we're fighting in Helen. And I think that we owe the soldiers why we're there. And it was originally operation uh, in 2002, the hunt down for Bin Laden. And the Danes were there already at that time. Okay. 
Uh, the final general general point for I want to get onto your particular research just about is, is the, the fourth plane that went down, went down at Shanksville, crashed at Shanksville. Do you believe that was a, a, a civilian airplane? Do you believe it crashed into the ground at Shanksville? There was no wreckage. The people who came out actually to look at the wreckage, they, they went home after 20 minutes because there was nobody there. The corona said, well, I'm finished, there's no job for me. They just went home. He said, I think he said, he, he, there, there was, there was, there were parts of, uh, body parts, there was, there was, there was, there were small parts of, of wreckage there, and people did carry on working. The coroner, who we have spoken to before, uh, said there were, you know, there was um, a, a tragic scene there, and there was clear evidence that the plane had crashed. It was 10 square kilometres, the wreckage was spread over seven square kilometers. What sort of wreckage was spread over seven kilometers? The airline. Yeah. What, what, so parts of the, parts of metal and parts of the engines were found over seven square kilometers, weren't they? Yeah, spread all over. I'm not very much into flight. Not I've not seen it. that. That's not the evidence I've ever seen. Okay. The only evidence I've seen is that small parts of, of insulation, things that could be blown in, by the wind, were right. found several, a few miles away. Right. I think you should compare with other airline crashes then. The point you're making is that, are you suggesting that something other, than, if it, it didn't crash there at Shanksville? I don't believe that, no. Did it crash where? I don't have no idea. Shot out of the sky? Could be. Taken yeah. off to Barbados or something? No, come on, I'm not speculating. I'm. I'm all the time, I have to repeat it again and again. Show me the evidence and what